Welcome back to Round Top, Texas, and we're at the Big Red Barn Winter Edition of Antiques Show. We are open for two days this weekend, and then this virtual show, of course, you can enjoy over and over again. So this is video three, and we'll start off with this matte finish compote. Uh, I always thought that this was door flinger, but I was not been able to pinpoint it. It is eight inches in diameter, has punties and clear channels cut in the top. Has a um, apple core sort of stem. It's hollow, and then a matte finish star base, seven inches tall, and it is two ninety five. There's a German cross design banana bowl, bowl or fruit bowl. Um, flashed fans, large hop stars, nicely done piece, 11 and a half inches long. So nice buy at only $2.95. So 12 inch tall strawberry diamond fan, um, ball bottom vase, kind of a unique shape. Um, it's only $1.75. It's a cute uh, notched prisms and floating hob stars whipped cream bowl. I think it's six and a half inches diameter. And it's a nice buy at only $65. The 12 inch tall corset vase, similar to Henrietta by Pearpoint, five inches in diameter. Uh, have it marked at 45, because it does have several damaged teeth on the rim. But it's a nice piece to be able to use. Sizable and pretty hefty in weight. It's a really neat sugar and creamer um, cut with hob stars, hob nail, mitering, really wide outline miter. Almost in, shapes the hob star into a vesica actually. Uh, so, slight wafer base. Triple diamond handles, really nice set at 135. It's an unusual shaped vase, probably Clark or Maple City. I haven't really looked for a signature. Excellent quality blank, swirling notched prisms, scalloped hubstar base, faceted knob on the bottom. It's got a lot of great qualities in this piece. 12 inches tall and it's only 225. Another 12 inch vase. It's in the primrose pattern by Tuthill. It's engraved in geometric, engraved foot. Um, it has a cut knob, ball above the foot, and it is $5.95. It's also signed. Really nice butter tub. Um, great blank, very fine cutting, lots of nice details, tab handle. Um, could be Fry or Kitchen and Brooks. I haven't had a chance to research it. And it's a nice buy at only $165. So a three-footed cake stand. Has small stubby feet underneath. It's cut in the fashion pattern by Pitkin and Brooks. Unusual at first what appears to be a hop star, but it's a four-pointed with flashed fans around it it's 10 I think inches in diameter and it is 325 the tab handle tray with step cutting on the ends uh, just so one like this and this is the second one it does have some chip teeth some nips all around the rim the other one I sold for $4.95 or $5.95 this one is only 125 because of the chips. It's a cluster design cream and sugar set, double punchy cut handles, lots of small hops, flat hop stars in the pattern. Uh, there's a handle fracture on one of them, so it, the set's only $35. There's a really cute tiny rose bowl in the Harvard pattern by Libby. Has the box base that you see in the early catalog. It's only three inches in diameter and it is 110. 
These guys are really cute. I believe this one is Hawks, but I didn't see a signature. Um, nice cutting on it. Nice quality. Four, only four and a half inches tall, and it's 1.5. There's another small guy. He's about five inches tall. Sort of like the odd pattern by Hawks, and it's also signed. Uh, if you look in the first catalog, cute little faceted stopper, five inches tall, and it is 135. Celery, it's a kind of, sort of a feathered cutting. I know I've seen this pattern, but I just can't picture it. Um, looks to be in good condition. Oh, there is a chip tooth, I see. 12 inches long, it's only $35. So a pair of Strawberry Diamond and Fan individual salt cellars. They are two inches in diameter and one and an eighth inch tall, and it's only $45 for the pair. It's a single uh, individual salt cellar cut in deep notched prisms, one and three quarter inches diameter, and it is only $20 interesting cocktail glasses I would call them uh, sort of feather motif and a really curious stem portion clear bottoms they're probably about eight inches tall and they are $45 each the small candy compote I don't recall the pattern although I know I've seen it somewhere Solid round stem, star cut base, six inches diameter, and it's only 55. Seven inch diameter plate in Gladys by Hawks. It's signed, it was $65, but there is a tooth chip. So I'm going to sell it for only $30. This is a really cute pickle or pin dish. Unusual cut rim. Great cane cutting, lots of hub stars. Very, very cute piece. Seven and three quarter inches long. A very good quality, and it is only 110. Uh, kind of a stout cut glass spooner, two handles, punty cut handle, flashed hob stars of the primary motif, fluting and notching toward the base, very heavy, and it is 195. So a cute little oval dish, maybe a pin dish uh, by Hawks. It's cut in their Devonshire pattern, and it is only $95. A cute little toothpick holder. Looks like a little pineapple. It's cut in strawberry diamond fan. Has a neat, heavy, faceted, bot rounded bottom, and it is $45. There's a cute small ladies flask. There's a sterling cork line top. I uh, can't make out the silver mark. I'm not sure what company that is. Um, heavily, heavily cut sides and main part. It is $195. These are adorable. A pair of footed miniature colognes cut all in raised diamond. There's the little foot, star, star cut base. The really tiny stoppers. Uh, neat to have a matching pair like this. $195 for the pair. There's a set of six wines cut in their Foley Waterford pattern by Hawks. And it's only $95 for the set. It has the square bases. Cute little cruet. The cutting is similar to J. Hoare, but I haven't been able to pinpoint it. It has a triple spout. Faceted stopper, star base, six and a quarter inches tall, and it's only fifty-five dollars. I have two of these little ramekins. They're in Brazilian by Hawks. That's an early 1889 pattern. Uh, don't know that I've ever had one of these before. Neat piece. They are eighty-five a piece. I only have two. Uh, another by J. Hoare. Oops, something's. Picking up the wrong thing. Okay, a uh, set of six individual salts. They are signed, J. Hoare. They're shown on page 146 of the black catalog. Excellent quality blanks. The box wasn't original, but it, that's how I bought it. It's kind of neat to have it in the box. And the set of six is 195. 
It's a beautiful little picture in Somerset by Libby. It's signed, triple diamond handle, really deep cutting, excellent quality. Short little guy at seven and a half inches. I guess it's a juice picture. And it is 165. And that concludes video three. Thank you from Round Top, Texas, and the Big Red Barn.